Hello, Rob from Fountain Pen Journey with a pen review. Now, this is the newly released Lamy All Star Tourmaline. Spelt T U, <laughs> not T O U, as per the English spelling. This is the German spelling, or anyway. So, anyway, it's the Lamy All Star Tourmaline. Uh, it's 2019's. Uh, tw 2019 is 2020's uh, special edition of the All Star, which I absolutely love. Um, these are great pens. And I have also got a review using this pen with the also special edition Lamy Tourmaline ink cartridges, which of course will fit into the Lamy Safari, Lamy Vista, Lamy All Stars. Yeah. So, anyway, we'll have a look at the ink in a bit. Let's just talk about the pen. Right, first off, you'll notice there's three pens here. They all look fairly similar. I, for the love of God, cannot do anything about the colour representation that I'm getting in these videos or in photographs. I don't know what it is. Modern cameras just do not take good colour accurate photos in some circumstances and this is one of those circumstances where nothing I do I've tried flash on flash off natural light I've got good natural light here it's just not working um, so it's really really hard to describe so what I have got here is the tourmaline so this is the new all-star uh, then there's the um, Lamy all-star uh, green and to be honest these two are quite dissimilar so I'm going to discount this one this this is not a compare a good comparison color I like it a lot though and this is the Lamy all-star Pacific blue which under this camera look pretty much identical side by side using my own you know uncalibrated eyes they look almost identical there really is not a lot in between these two colors um, in fact if I mix these up I came, and I came back to these pens several months later I'd probably not remember which one was the tourmaline however the tourmaline is this is the tourmaline this tourmaline color is darker than the Pacific blue it's also a fair bit greener. Um, it's not quite as blue. There is more green in it. And okay, yeah, Lamy, you're producing pens which are incredibly similar in colour uh, from year to year. Um, but there's a lot of people out there like me. The All Star is a very affordable pen. Doesn't matter what colour it comes in, we'll buy it. Uh, so this is a 2020 Tourmaline edition. So, yep, yeah, I bought one and I absolutely love it. I, I mean, I like the, um, the green and the Pacific blue. But quite honestly, this Tourmaline colour is more colourful. It's a really rich green teal blue. So, let's just talk about the parts of the pen. It's a Lamy All-Star. If you haven't seen one of these before, it's ba basically a aluminium, all metal type, well, almost all metal version of the uh, Lamy Safari, which is out, made out of plastic. Um, top, of the top of the pen, black finial with this sort of cross-like insert. Um, cap, aluminium, with this paper clip style clip, which some people love it, hate it. Um, I found it's actually quite a functional clip. Um, never was keen on the design, but I've grown use, used to the, using these pens over the years and now I absolutely love them. Uh, metal barrel with an ink window. There's no glass, plastic or resin inside there. It's just a punched hole straight through into the, um, into the interior of the barrel on both sides. So you've got a flat bit on this rounded barrel and on one side you have Lamy, which I believe is probably stamped in. I don't know whether it's engraved. Oh, yeah, probably engraved. And a black plastic insert in the back. Cap pops off. Very easily one-handed. Nice and securely. These pens don't dry out. Uh, it takes ages for these pens to dry out when you leave them uh, capped. 
Yeah, and yeah, these are tried and tested designs. Been going for many, many years, no issues whatsoever. We have got a steel, medium in this case, winged Lamy Safari style nib, which, yeah, these things. I'll talk about the nib in a bit when I do the writing sample, but yeah, let's get back to that later. So a medium steel nib in this pen. As with all the All Stars, translucent black plastic section. Now it's faceted on two of the upper sides. So imagine the, uh, let's have a look at the pen this way. Okay, so the pen has got basically, it's got fluff on it. It's got three facets. Well, no, there's two, there's two facets. Underneath is rounded, and on the top, there's two indentations basically cut into the barrel, into the grip, rather, so that your fingers naturally rest there if you hold it in a tripod grip. If you don't use the Lamy, if you don't know what Lamy pens are like and this tripod grip is like, and you don't use the tripod grip yourself, you'll hate it. So, yeah, standard fare from Lamy, tripod grip. I love it, I find it very comfortable, very, very comfortable. So no issues from uh, from my point of view, but I know that many people don't like it. So there's something to remember. As with the Safari, the All-Star, all the previous All-Stars before it, yep, this uh, tourmaline version, same size, exactly the same weight, same dimensions, everything you can expect, and it fits perfectly well in my hand. And you can post it. And it posts really quite deeply. And it's it's all right. I, I don't like using these pens posted. Oh, scrap that idea. And barrel on screws. And it will take Lamy cartridges or the Lamy proprietary converter. So there's the pen. Ink cartridges. Tourmaline ink cartridges. Uh, yeah, there's a packet of ink cartridges. I have popped a blue one in there. Um, there isn't a lot about it. They haven't done any... I'll just show you the blue version, actually. Um, these pens all come with a blue Lamy proprietary cartridge. Um, so you're not going to get the tourmaline ink with the tourmaline all-star. So just bear that one in mind, or at least I didn't anyway. Um, Lamy ink cartridges. The blues and the blacks almost always have these coloured plastic inserts. This is the tourmaline cartridge. As you can see, it's just colourless. So, yeah, that is what you get in a pack. Pop these back in there. So, let's do the writing sample. So there you go, that is the Lamy, or German way of spelling tourmaline. Excuse the washing machine in the background. Uh, I and many other people are, well, might have, to, to be honest, with all this stuff going on, I'm at home. I'm at, I'm at home for more, more than a week. Um, and it's annual leave. I'm simply burning annual leave that I've accrued over the year and that's affording me lots of time to play with my pens. So this isn't some self-imposed isolation or whatever it is. So that's why you'll be getting an awful lot of these pen reviews and pen mail videos uh, this week. I've been saving up an awful lot of things um, for this week to enjoy, so I'll spend all week playing with my pens. Let's talk more writing.
this ink I'll write it down as well just so that anyone viewing the uh, the video without listening to my voice droning on about it uh, is Lamy Tourmaline now I am not a massive fan of Lamy inks I hope you can hear me over the uh, noise of the washing machine which just decided to go into a spin cycle in fact I might even pause this video for a moment just bear with me right there we go all sorted um, now as I was saying Lamy inks I'm really not a fan of them I, I, I just don't like them I think they're dry they're insipid I'm just the Lamy inks are not for me I just do not like Lamy inks however this Lamy turquoise uh, tourmaline rather not turquoise that's a separate ink Lamy tourmaline is a brilliant ink I really really love it the colour's good and it's very similar to so many other sort of palish teal um, green inks. It's quite similar to uh, Schaefer Skip, Script Classic Green. Uh, very, very similar in colour to that. Uh, this is more attractive, I must admit. Um, and it's got really, really good shading. Now, isn't that? Rhodia Paper. I'm beginning to fall out of love with Rhodia Paper a little bit because I'm finding that now I'm experimenting with other papers... I'm finding them a little bit more interesting and the inks are showing up a bit better. Now you can see here there is really really quite good shading with this Lamy Tourmaline ink. It's really really good and I'm, I'm quite surprised. Um, of course this is a special edition ink so you're not going to see it forever uh, though I suspect it will be around for quite a, quite a long time as to, uh, to come. Um, so, yes, that's the ink, which I'm really, really pleased with. Now, the other thing is this nib. Now, I said I was going to get back to this because Lamy test every one of their nibs before they leave the factory. And that's why you get a little bit of blue ink in a Lamy pen and they always say flush the pen before you use it. And they also supply you with a blue ink cartridges, the cartridge with the pen just in case you decide that you can't be bothered and you just whack the cartridge in, you're not going to start, start complaining when your blue, um, uh, blue ink comes out of your pen. So anyway, I have not been 100% impressed with Lamy's quality control. Yes, the nibs that I've had in some of their pens do right. They have written fine, but they've been badly tuned or just a bit scratchy just not pleasant they've actually needed nib smoothing because i've even had one on a um uh Lamy, um studio which actually had a burr on the tipping of the nib which yeah that should never have got through qc uh but the qc is automated it's all done by computer um so you know it's not a hands-on process they are producing thousands of nibs every day so what do I think of this nib? Well, your mileage may vary. If you order one of these pens, your nib might be even better than this, or it might be a lot worse. But this nib is, for me, one of the very few Lamy's, Lamy nibs that I have actually written with straight out of the box and thought, wow, this is a really, really good nib. It, um, I mean, it, 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 it does the job. I wouldn't have said it's the smoothest. I would say there is a little bit of a sweet spot, which is something that I've not... There you go, you can see. But, I mean, this is a weird rotation for this this pen. I wouldn't normally write with that. Um, but it performs well, and the ink flow is excellent. So, yeah, I, I don't have any issues with this at all. So, as far as I'm concerned, based on this purchase, yeah, absolutely love this pen highly recommend it and yes if you've got any doubts then if you already have the pacific blue and you want to ever so slightly shinier i'd say shinier uh slightly slightly more green version then yes otherwise these two are very very similar um yeah
So take your pick, or if you're like me, you collect, you collect these, you end up with this one anyway. And it is a really, really lovely colour. And it is a shame that this um, that any cameras do not really seem to do this colour justice. It's a really beautiful looking pen. Well, beautiful colour. The taste of the pen, debatable. <laughs> I know some people don't like the look of these. So anyway, there's the Lamy All-Star Tourmaline and the, All uh, and the Lamy Tourmaline Ink. So I hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time. Bye.